file in this September 30, 2017, file photo, Baylor head coach Matt Rule watches from the sideline during the first half of an NCAA college football game against Kansas State, in Manhattan, Con. Rule wants all those people texting, telling him to hang in there and asking if he's okay, to know that he's doing great. No, he doesn't like that the Bears are still winless. But while having all those young players on the field is hard, that is an exhilarating part in building a foundation for the future. Orlin Wagner, file Associated Press Oklahoma State likely won't take winless Baylor for granted. A quick glance at the records, rankings and point spread would indicate the Cowboys should win Saturday's game easily. Number 14 Oklahoma State 41, 11 Big 12 is still chasing championships while Baylor is trying to simply give itself a chance for a winning season in the fallout from scandal. There are a few reasons the Bears should have Oklahoma State's full attention. For one, Baylor has beaten the Cowboys three straight years. For all Oklahoma State quarterback Mason Rudolph has accomplished, he hasn't beaten the Bears. This is kind of one I've had circled on the schedule for a while now, Rudolph said. So I'm preparing hard, getting ready to go and lead my team and play my butt off. Second, Baylor pushed Oklahoma before falling 4,941 last month, and the Bears were within a touchdown in the fourth quarter at Kansas State the next week before losing 3,320. They are definitely a good team, Oklahoma State running back Justice Hill said. Coming back when they played OU, they had a good game. Kansas State was a good game. They are a good team. The Cowboys also want to remain in contention for a college football playoff spot and the Big 12 title. Oklahoma State already had a costly home loss to TCU and can't afford to slip again. We don't have a lot of margin for error right now, Oklahoma State coach Mike Gundy said. The Cowboys have the number two offense in the nation, and even though they will face one of the nation's worst defenses, they want to come out sharp following their bye week. I think we've got enough leadership and guys who will be catalysts for this team and bring energy and enthusiasm, Rudolph said. It'll seem like we haven't played a game in a while come Saturday, but that doesn't matter after you get out there and snap that first play and get things rolling. Here are some things to watch when the Cowboys host the Bears' love for love at Baylor coach Matt Rule said true freshman John Lovett will start at running back Saturday, even with J. Michael Hasty and Terrence Williams back from injuries. Lovett ran for 95 yards against Kansas State, including a 74-yard burst for a score, the longest touchdown run for a freshman in school history. Rule expects Hasty MCL sprain and Williams' shoulder to be able to play and said he'll go with the hot hand once the game settles in. Swift justice for all that is said about Oklahoma State's passing game, Hill is the number two rusher in the Big 12, and he is just behind receiver James Washington for the team lead in yards from scrimmage. What's not talked about enough is the run game, which is fantastic, Rule said. They do a great job up front with a physical, rugged offensive line, and just as Hill is really a special back for a sophomore. It'll be a real challenge for our defense. Just for kicks, Drew Gallitz was injured on the opening kickoff against Kansas State. Rule said Connor Martin will be ready to step in, with Peter Webster as the backup. Rule said he's gotten calls from potential kickers, but he prefers that Martin does the job, even though he'll have multiple duties. I think Connor can do a good job, Rule said. It's just more the strain that puts on his leg of kicking off, punting, and kicking field goals. That's hard. Washington climbs Oklahoma State wide receiver James Washington needs one receiving touchdown to move alone into third place in school history in that category. He is tied with Hartley Dykes with 31 touchdowns and trails Rashawn Woods 42 and Justin Blackman 40. Consistent Rudolph Rudolph has passed for at least 300 yards in six consecutive games, including all five games this season. Baylor allows 237.6 yards passing per game, underscore 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 follow Cliff Brunt on Twitter www.twitter.com Cliff Brunt app, underscore 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 more AP college football HTTP college football dot app dot org and HTTP www.twitter.com app underscore top 25. Copyright 2017 The Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed.